Good morning. This is the Ramblings of an Indiscipline Mind podcast for Wednesday, January 13th, 2016. I almost said the 18th for some reason. I think my brain tried to turn the 3 into an 8. Uh, yeah, I'm, I'm hoping that... Uh, I'm, I've been having a little te- technical difficulties the last couple of days. I'm not really sure what's going on. Um, I can tell by the waveform, and, and the waveform is, is, if you don't know, but for those of us at audio, you get this representation of, of the sound, and it's called the waveform, and you see you got the spikes, and you got, you know, hills and valleys, or whatever, so when I get loud, you get a big spike, and then when it's quieter, you go down, and You've got like a base level of noise, obviously. I'm in a car. But the waveform has been... You know, Usually I'm spiking noticeably above the road noise. And that's not been the case for the last few days. I'm not quite sure what was going on there. So I, I kind of thought for Mondays that, well, maybe the mic wasn't plugged in all the way. And I was using this... this um, digital recorder I use does have condenser microphones on it. I thought, well, maybe it's using the the condenser microphones. Maybe I didn't get it plugged in all the way and it was using the condenser microphones. And so yesterday I made a point of making sure that it was plugged in firmly. And the waveform looked about the same. You know, and it's fine. You know, it's still listenable. I have been having to pump the pump the volume up a little bit, but not not horrendous horrendously so. So what I did is is I bought a pack of these little microphones. I got these lavalier microphones, uh, and I bought like a three pack. And I've been on mic two for some time, so I went ahead and. And shifted to brand spanking new mic number three, on the off chance that, like there was a you know a break in the cable or, or something along those lines, or it wasn't working, a hundred percent. So we'll see what it looks like tonight. Uh, you know it it struck me last night that winter has finally come. I went outside to, you know, do the weekly putting out of the garbage cans, and I noticed we had maybe an inch of snow down again, so I went ahead and shoveled and got that cleared off. Fortunately, the last two days, the snow we've had has just been the really light, fluffy stuff, so super easy to shovel by hand. But I was, I was looking at the forecast, and we've got 20s and 30s, and I think Friday we're supposed to have a high around 40, and then it's right back to the 20s and 30s. So uh, Ned Stark was right, and winter has arrived. Uh, and I don't know, I've just been kind of used to this, to the mildness that we had in December and November that is kind of like, oh crap, it's cold. Like today, right now, I'm, 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 I'm in the wife's car, so I've got the thermometer in it. 16 degrees outside. And the best part about being in the wife's car? Heated seats. Oh, yeah. The buns are nice and toasty right now. Probably more information than you really wanted. <laughs> Sorry. Uh, no, not really. <laughs> but it feels very nice and warm. I woke up with a sore throat this morning. And it's it's because I'm draining. I, I'm, I, I must be trying to fight off a cold or something, and I've been taking meds for it. Trying to clear out my sinuses and all this nonsense. And, and it's one of those weird... You know, it was hurting a little bit when I when I got up, especially when I would dry swallow, I get a little twinge. And then I, if 
thought, well, I'll take a drink of water. And, you know, pain blooms like crazy. So I'm like, oh, wow. So apparently my throat needed a little bit of soothing, and water by itself was not cutting it. So I went downstairs and made myself some green tea, which I am uh, drinking. I actually am continuing that right now. Green tea, hot. You know, now that it's cold, it's the perfect time for some Earl Grey hot. I haven't had any of that in a while. Good stuff. If you're a coffee drinker and you kind of, you know, hold your nose up at tea, oh, I don't like tea, it doesn't have enough flavor, it's too weak, it's too namby-pamby, get yourself a cup of Earl Grey tea. And there might be other bold, robust teas out there. I am not, by any stretch of the imagination, an expert on tea. I do not have a doctorate in teaology. Boy, that'd be fun. To, that sounds really cool. Keith Hughes, Doctor of Theology. I mean, that I want that on a business card. <laughs> but Earl Grey is, is, yeah, that's robust, I guess I'll say. And, uh, you know, I, I'll, I, I'll fess up. I'm a geek. I tried it because that's what Jean-Luc Picard on Next, Star Trek Next Generation drank all the time. Uh, but it's pretty good stuff. Yeah, yes. Yeah, I might have to have some of that tonight. Hmm. <laughs> what else am I thinking about today? It's Wednesday. It's Wednesday. It's hump day. Hump day. I, I, I'm, I'm a little blown away that Friday is the 15th of January. You know, the month is half over. I feel like we've just started January and the month is half freaking over. It's just like, what? Are you kidding me? Yeah, so this time just seems to be like flying. I've long felt like that's why old people seem so slow. It's just because time seems to be moving about about them so fast. Because yeah, you think about it when you're a kid, time just drags. You know, summer vacation is an eternity. A good good eternity, but I mean it just lasts a long, long time. And then, you know, school lasts a long, long time. You know, and from one Christmas to another is just, you know, forever. And then as you get older, you know, the year compresses, time compresses, and it seems, you know, you know, all of a sudden here, you know, a month is halfway gone, and it's like, holy crap, I feel like we just started. So I have a feeling, you know, by the time you're like 70 or 80, you know, the world almost seems like it's in a blur, because time's moving so fast, you know, you close your eyes and you wake up, and you open back up, and like four days have passed. I don't know. We'll see. When I get to 70 or 80, we'll see if that's still, if I still think that's a viable hypothesis. But I, I'm kind of feeling that way. Because I'm just, I'm just kind of aghast that you know, here January is half over. But at the same time, I'm kind of glad that the time's moving fast because, you know, that's, I'm on the road to June to graduation. So I'm like really forward to getting that uh, getting that done done <sighs> what else is going on I don't know that there's that much else is going on right now today I'm going to keep drinking my tea I'm hoping that this will help kind of uh, soothe the throat today I'm sure it will be aided by the coffee that I'll have once I reach the office. Winter is here, in case you doubted it. Uh, the white landscape I'm looking at it, looking at, uh, seems to be attesting to that fact. And I don't think our day of 40-ish degrees on, on Friday is going to 
be enough to totally melt all this stuff. So I think we're going to have some of the white stuff on the ground for a while. Anyway, I will be back tomorrow, and I'll be talking to you then. So, be seeing you.